as soon as you open this the first time, it's going to ask you to create a new CPS file. It doesn't matter where you put that. So that's what we did first. Now we want to create a new lesson. So we're going to click on Tools and then New Lesson. And you have to give it a name. And description and unique identifier doesn't matter. Okay, then I've, this is my new lesson right here on the left. So I click Test 2 to open that up. And then I click Tools and I click New Question. So I put in my first question. And then I put in my choices. I click whichever one is correct, and then I push this button right here. It's save, and then move on to the next question. And then I put in my next question. I put in my choices. I click whichever one is correct. Oh yeah, wait, okay. And then I push this button right here, the save and move on. And then I continue making my questions and my responses. And then at the end, make sure I save it. And then when I'm finished with it, I close it. Okay, to engage the lesson, you click on this button right here that says Engage Lessons. This is test two. You have to choose a session category, so you just choose. It really doesn't matter. Class participation is probably the best. And then if there's no class showing down here, you have to just click Create, and then it'll say which, uh, which pads are you using. So usually just pick 1 through 32. And then you click Start. You come up here, and you click. You can either click uh, Questions, or you can click right here. I usually click right here where it says Next, number one. That goes to the first question. You always have to click start. Wait, and show that where that was. I can't do it now. Sorry. It's down here in the bottom right hand corner. It'll say start. Okay. Okay, once it says start, then the kids are going to answer the questions with their uh, remotes. And their answers will show, well, they're not their answers, but it'll just show blue that they've answered. Now, if they try to change their answer, it'll turn yellow. If they pick the same answer again, it'll turn green. Okay, so, you know, set a rule down that they can only press it once, classroom management. Okay, then once you do that, you go to end, and then it's going to show you what the correct answer is and how many got it correct. Show them the histogram. Okay, then you could go to histogram and you can choose to show it by bar chart, pie chart, horizontal bar chart. But that's just an option. You don't have to do that. And then you close this screen. Over here on the right side, you're going to click the next, the arrow to go to the next question. And then you click start again. You always have to click start. Okay, it's in the bottom right hand corner. Kids answer the questions. Oh, because you don't, were you pushing? Are you pushing A or B? Okay, I don't know why that one didn't like your fingers. Okay, so once they've answered, you click end again. It shows you the correct answer. Histogram if you want to. It's showing you the cumulative correct and how many got this question right. Okay, then if you don't want to go onto the histogram, you just go to the next question. Let me see start. And then click start. Okay, so you're doing the same thing over and over again. Go to the question, click start, let them answer, click end. And of course, nobody answered on this one, so it's showing zero. Okay, so then how do you get done with it? You hit close at the end? You hit close at the end when you're finished, and then this closes the whole thing down. Okay. And then, if you really want to get fancy, you can go up here 
and um, well, this you probably won't want to do this today, but under classes, you could go in here and show, um, you can generate reports. Like for student, uh, we've got two students here. If you wanted to um, show their actual grades, you could click right there, instructor summary, and it'll give you what their grades are. So you've got their grades automatically. Very cool. And that, my friend, Thanks so much. It's in a nutshell. That's what we need in a nutshell. And 